In this video we're going to look at the equation of a circle. Uh, so to, to think about how this works, let's have an example. I want a circle through 2, 3 with radius 5. Okay, so it's going to be in 2, 3 and then it's going to have radius 5. Okay, not a perfect circle but uh, that'll do. So it's got uh, radius 5. That means that the distance from the center here, uh, let's make that a bit more central in this circle, uh, to any point on the on the circumference here is 5 units. Okay. So uh, if I were to take a general point here uh, on the circle, let's call it xy, then its distance from 2, 3 would be 5. Okay. So and that would be true anywhere around the circle. I could put x, y down here or down here, and all of those points together will give us the equation of the circle. So if you don't know how to find the distance between two points, look back at that video. But remember, this is how it works. I've got uh, a right angle triangle here. This vertical distance would be y minus 3, change in the y coordinates, and the horizontal distance would be x minus 2, the change in the x coordinates. And Pythagoras' theorem would say that x minus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared is equal to 5 squared. Or we could write x minus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 25. And that is then the equation uh, of this circle. All the different values of x and y uh, would satisfy this equation if and only if they lie on this circle. And this same logic leads us to a general form. So let's say I've got a point with x coordinates uh, a and y coordinate uh, y coordinate b, and the circle's got radius r. Well, I would just uh, apply the same logic. The distance here would be y minus whatever this value is here, y minus b. This distance here would be x minus a. That's not an r. That's just a right angle in the triangle, uh, and it would be that distance there is r, so the equation of the circle would be x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is r squared. That's a circle that goes through uh, a, b and has radius uh, radius r. So we're not in this example anymore. Um, just going through a, b, uh, radius r. So that's our general form for the equation of the circle. So actually, again, once you've got that formula and you're happy, you know that it's true. If I said I want to circle through 4, 7 with radius 12, you could just plug this in here. Okay, I get x minus 4 squared plus y minus 7 squared is 12 squared. That would be the equation of circle through 4, 7 with radius 12. Just be a bit careful with negative numbers again. So if it goes through minus 3, 7 and uh, has radius 4, of course r can't be negative, the radius has to be positive. Uh, but here a is minus 3, b is 7, so I get x minus minus 3 squared plus y minus 7 squared is 4 squared. Now just plugging these values into the formula. Uh, so this is x minus minus 3, that's x plus 3 squared plus y minus 7 squared equals 16. So hopefully now you can see where this equation for the circle comes from and you could recognize a circle if you saw it uh, in this form. Now let's take that last circle and of course we could write this in different forms as well you know I could multiply this out I could say that x plus 3 squared well that's x squared plus 6x plus 9 plus y squared minus 14y plus 49 equals 16 so I could say this is x squared plus y squared plus 6x minus 14y equals 16 minus 9 minus 49 which is minus 42, uh, or I could even add the 42 to both sides and say plus 42 equals 0. So uh, it's another way of writing down the equation of a circle. It's still the same equation, so it must still represent that circle that goes through minus 3, 7 and has radius 4. So if you get something that has this sort of form, it's got an x squared term, a y squared term, an x term, a y term, and a constant term, then it might be a circle. Um, and I say might be because also uh, it's possible it might not be uh, because for example you know if I'd taken this and I'd started with minus 16 here instead uh, then this would have been uh, minus 16 and 
so if I did if I do minus 16 minus 9 minus 49 I get minus 74 so this would end up being plus 74 so actually this one just by changing this number slightly it's not a circle anymore because it would have to have you know radius the square root of minus 16 uh, and that doesn't you know that doesn't work okay so this would go through minus have to go through minus 37 but this has got to be a positive number so it's not everything of this form that's a circle but you know you look at something like this and you think well maybe it's a circle and I'll uh, and I'll check so the question arises well how would we uh, check if we didn't already know this form and the answer is that we'll complete the square in x and complete the square in y and then try and rearrange back into this form and I'll do that in the next video